Put bluntly, growth has been too low for too long. That was a bleak assessment from the IMF's chief economist. So disappointing, to say the very least. Yes, the IMF has knocked 0.2 percentage points off its global growth forecast for the year, with downgrades across a wide range of advanced and emerging economies. Alongside slowing growth in the US, the Euro area, Japan and the UK, it expects recessions in both Russia and Brazil this year. Well, growth in China will be slightly better than it thought in the autumn. The IMF upped the Chinese growth outlook to 6.5% this year due to a raft of stimulus measures the Chinese authorities have introduced. But it's still concerned about the Asian powerhouse's rebalancing process and the risk of more market turbulence this year. Politics is a big issue. The fund is increasingly worried about the scarring effects of persistent low growth and the sense that too many people are being left behind. It cited the risk of a fraying of the political consensus in Europe amid the refugee crisis and recent terrorist attacks, as well as a backlash in the US against globalism and free trade. It warns the political conversation is, quote, turning increasingly inward. The IMF said bluntly, that if the UK left the European Union, it could do severe damage and would hit trade. The fund said that the vote was already hitting the economy, raising uncertainty and hitting investment. Even if the UK votes to remain in Europe, it estimates that just holding the vote has already knocked growth this year. Chancellor George Osborne, who is campaigning to stay in, said it was the clearest independent warning yet of the bad things to come if Britain votes to leave. The Leave campaign said the IMF was wrongly talking down the British economy. <laughs>